the congregation shivered in the cold. Notre Dame echoed with the sounds of 400 musicians and singers. Napoleon Bonaparte was about to be crowned Emperor of France. If I have any ambition, he said, it is so natural to me, so intimately linked with my existence, that it is like the blood that circulates in my veins. It was December 2nd, 1804. Napoleon was 35 years old. His faith in his guiding star had been justified. Riding the tide of revolution that shook all of Europe, the young lieutenant from Corsica had ascended to the rank of general, married the woman he loved, Josephine de Beauharnais, and with victory after victory on the battlefield, made himself the most powerful figure in France. There's this young Corsican bringing whole empires toppling, kings losing their thrones, causing this magical belief in him. An enormous presence, with a coil spring intensity, like a bomb about to go off when he entered the room. C'est une ambition en marche. He is ambition in motion. As time went by, he only had confidence in himself. He considered himself invincible. Napoleon mounted the steps to the altar alone. Seizing the crown in his own hands, he held it aloft. Then brought it to rest on his own head. 